Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Kelly and today I want to sit down and I want to chat with everyone about the uh, Smashbox Kelly Contour Palette as well as the Smashbox Kelly Kissed Palette. I've been using both of these for a couple weeks. Um, well, I all month, whichever day it is. It's been a couple weeks anyways that I've been playing with these. I have a lot of thoughts on them so I thought I would apply them while I kind of give you my thoughts on it. And yeah, if this sounds like something you're interested in, go ahead, stick around, because we're going to get right to the video. Okay, first, let's talk about the Smashbox Kelly Contour Palette. You do get six shades in here. This is a contour shade. This is a shimmer shade. This is a matte bronze shade. This is a matte blush. This is a shimmer bronze highlight, and this is a highlight down here, which is also matte. I did swatch them right here. I am pretty tan right now. I'm using the True Match Lumi in the shade N4, um, which is pretty tan, but I also, I had to retan so it was getting splashy, so I took it all off, and I went back to the Revlon Candid 120 shade, which is buff, and this is pretty fair, and I was still able to wear all of these colors. They do blend really well. They are very, very pigmented. Um, you are able to go into all of these shades and build them to the correct like level of pigment that you want. I can go in very light-handed. I can go in very heavy-handed. As far as anybody that's much tanner than me, I'm not sure if this, the bronzer shade would show up much because it is a pretty light. Um, but if you are darker than N4 in this <laughs> bottle, let me know if these do work for you. But these are the swatches right here. And again, I do really, really enjoy it. It does retail for $39, which I think is pretty fair price for as many products as you're getting. I mean, you're, you're literally, you're getting six products, which is fantastic. I also want to talk about the Kelly Kissed palette right here. And same setup as the Kelly, Kelly Contour. You get six shades right here. It does retail for $39 as well. You also get a really nice size mirror in here. Packaging is really, really well made on these. It's very hard plastic. It's not going to break and it's easy for travel, I think. But these are the swatches for this one. The top one, you get Crank It Up Champs. And then Crank It Up Bronze. Permission. Pink, Nighty, Crank It Up Rosé, and Dragon Fruit. These two blushes, when I swatched them, I went, oh, this isn't going to be good. These are way too far out of my comfort zone. I'm very much so into the natural blush flush look. But I will say I am able to wear these even when I don't have tanner on. Just very, very lightly. I can go in, I can wear both of these shades on my cheeks, and it's absolutely beautiful. This shade right here, I'm not sure if this is a glitter topper, but I that's what I kind of use it as. It's just a blush topper, or sometimes I dab in between the two, and it gives me the luminous blush that I really do actually like a lot. It, it does swatch all glitter, but it does. I don't have glitter that comes across my face. Nothing collects weird, but I do use this as an a blush mixer, I guess. And then the three highlighters are just absolutely beautiful. I have used this bronzy shade over my bronzer, kind of dipped between the two. <laughs> and very, very beautiful. For these two palettes, I really, really have been enjoying them. I've used both of them on my face when I'm tan and when I'm not, like I said. And I've used both of them as eyeshadows. And they're very beautiful. So really, if you wanted to skip the bronze, you could take this. This is a full face palette for travel for your eyes and your face, and you'd have a great look. But this one is same thing. You could, do, I mean, this is full face. All of it, you just grab this, some concealer, mascara, and you're good to go. So you've got three products, and you're, you are all set. So I really, really do love these. I'm so glad I picked both of them up. So let's zoom you guys in and I'll put these on the face. I am super chatty again today, and I apologize, but I'm trying to remember everything I wanted to talk about these palettes. I hands down am in love with them. I love Smashbox face products. Their powders are really nice. Actually, there's not much I don't think I've tried from Smashbox that I was like, eh, 
that's all really good. Personal preference, I know, but these two palettes I thoroughly am enjoying. Love that I have them. I'm a face palette junkie, yes, but the shades are very beautiful. We, I will say that. So the first I want to, my face is all done and that everything. I will have all the makeup actually on my face down in the description box in case you're wondering. And I am going to go through and I'm going to contour today just for the sake of actually using all the products that I can. So I am going to dip into the contour shade here kind of lightly. Again, these are very, very pigmented and I, I don't know. It's just, it's very pigmented and I will say I'm not sure if I contour right. Everybody, I feel like contours so differently, but this is just the way I found it that I prefer it on my own face. Let me know down in the comments, did you ever pick this up? I feel like this was hyped up for a hot minute and then it just kind of like dropped off the face of the earth, but I've seen a couple of my favorite YouTubers talk about it recently and I was like, oh my gosh, you know what? I'm just, I'm going to get it next time that there's a, um, the 20% coupon come through and when that came through, the... No, actually, I was wait, still waiting for the 20% coupon, but this was in the... The 21 days of beauty sale so I did grab it and then just as that had come out I think it was like the week before or two that they came out with a Kelly kiss and I'm like well if you get one you got to get the other right I know my face is so weird right now I kind of a little shy about contouring because I I know I I'm not a professional makeup artist I am just a, a makeup lover, but I do like the way it turns out. <laughs> it just it looks so weird. I was doing this the other day. My husband was watching and he's like, what in tarnation are you doing to your face? I don't know. So I am going to take a dual blendy brush right here. I just kind of blend that out a little bit. Just again, it's kind of weird to see it in the camera viewfinder and also just in the mirror it's like kind of stark and it's just it all comes together in the end but they do blend really really beautifully I did powder my face today just because I am in a hurry um but I don't have to powder it doesn't muddy and I'm not I'm not a super fan of matte bronzers at the moment but I do actually really enjoy dipping between the two palettes for kind of a shimmer bronzer which is what I am going to do next. I am going to take the bronzer shade which is over here and then I'm also going to take the crank it up bronze which is like a bronzer over lay kind of it's this color right here so I am going to dip between the two of these to bronze my face I do really like that I could use a matte shade if I wanted a matte bronzer but if I want the option I can just do this I think I'm picking up some of the blush but that's okay I just, I really, really love this combo so very, very much. And it's not too crazy once you blend it all out. <laughs> it's just that the initial is very stark. But it does blend very well, very well. I don't always do this, but periodically I will do my neck when I contour like my jawline, it will just buff a little bit of matte down in my neck a little bit. So that is what I'm doing now. Okay, next I want to go into the blush palette. And I am going to use my favorite brush. This is by Japanese. I'm not even sure what it is. But I think I'm going to dip into this one. But I'm also going to mix it with the shimmer to kind of adjust the shade just a little bit and just ever so lightly actually I'm going into the the topper and then twice and then once into the other and there's so much pigment I still go and I tap it off right here because I don't want that much pigment 
but it does it's so pretty it's so stinking pretty when you do that with the the topper it's ugh, I love this blush I love this blush it is very very pigmented I will say that so light light hand it's it's crazy and I always like if there's too much on my brush I will tap it on my hand to kind of get more of the pigment off It's just, it's a, it's a lot of blush. I know, but I, I like a lot of blush. But those are those two uh, products right there. Very, very beautiful. And honestly, I was trying to think of, okay, what am I gonna use from which palette? And I was like, ah, I don't know which highlight to use. Smashbox does some amazing highlighters. It doesn't matter how you apply it. They're gorgeous. But I do think I want to go in to this one from the blush palette right here which I believe is crank it up yeah I'm gonna go into it this one right here which is crank it up and I am just gonna throw this right on my cheekbones this one is a little blinding but I really really do love it I kind of feel like when I go overboard with the blush I kind of have to go overboard with the <laughs> with the highlighter and that's not usually something I do, but and this this highlighter it doesn't emphasize any texture, and I have a lot of texture on my skin, especially right here. And I do place my highlighter a little bit higher, I feel like, than a lot of other people. But my face is aging quite a bit right here. But this doesn't emphasize any of it. I'm very picky on my bronzers or my highlighters, so. I am going to go in and contour my nose a little bit, but I'm going to use the bronzer shade because it is lighter and I don't really want a harsh contour on my nose, but just a little bit. My nose is kind of crooked, so I try to even it out with just a light amount of bronzer. And you do have to be very, very careful again because this is so pigmented. But it is a very lovely palette. I'm so happy I got it. All right, that is it for these cheek products. I am going to zoom through my eyes and I will be right back. Okay, now that I've got you zoomed back out, full face is on. If you're curious, I do have everything linked down in the description box. And if you're also curious, there is an eye tutorial that was yesterday. So go have fun. Um, <laughs> that was so random. Anyways, do I think these are worth it at $39 a piece? If you like face palettes. I do. I love face palettes. I love an all-in-one. I love grabbing this and I love the, the sleekness, the slimness, and there's a lot of product in here. I can do my full entire face, eyes, and face, both palettes. I could just skip bronzer one day, which I do often, and I just use this palette. I, hands down, love that I have both of these. Do I need both of these? Absolutely not, because I love bronzers and I love blushes and face palettes. I don't need these, but I love them. I really do like that I will use all of these shades. There isn't one shade that I'm like, that'll never get used, which happens a lot, especially when you get like a blush palette or, you know, even a contour palette. I've had contour palettes where I'm like, no, <laughs> that will never work on me. And you do end up not using it in the end. You do end up wasting a pan. And it's just a pan. Yes, you get like a lot of use out of it. But at the same time, you still spend money on it. So it's like, it's a bummer. So again, I like these if you like face palettes or in the market for a blush or contour all in one. Grab these. These are fantastic. I hope you guys had a fantastic day today, kind of going through some thoughts and getting this crazy peachy look on my face. I hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.